So how do you think traditions foster community here? I think that having traditions just like kind of automatically like lets your guard down because like you're going to something and you're like being silly or you're like participating in something. And so it just like opens you up right away. Um, I'm thinking about when I was a first year during orientation, we did this event called First MNCs and it was in the library, which like usually MNCs are in your dorm room. Um, and I was, or in your residence hall rather. Uh, and I was talking about like we were just sitting there eating cookies and then one of my friends suggested like playing truth or dare, which was like very silly. Um, and it was like stupid things. Like we would be like, go and find a book on the shelf and just like shout a line out loud. Um, and the library workers thought it was hilarious. They were taking videos of us. Um, but I also just was like, it was a group of people I had literally never met before. Like it was just strangers um, and people who are now my best friends. But like at the time I would not have been confident enough to like just open a game of truth or dare with people. Um, but it was like, a lot of fun and, and we like connected right away. Yeah, sort of bouncing off of that, um, MNCs, which are a tradition of milk and cookies in residence halls um, every academic school night, um, are just a great way to like continue that throughout the year. It's great to be able to like go downstairs if I'm studying at 9.30 and take my little study break and just get to meet the people in my residence hall and meet the people who I'm like with every day but maybe don't have a whole bunch of time to talk to. Um, there's also really fun times where um, say we'll be all sitting in a common room watching a movie or watching a show, our, our Monday night show group. Um, and MNCs will start and we'll all just be able to grab cookies and juice and then hang out with the people who are also coming downstairs and they'll join in on whatever we're doing. We end up having this big gathering that's really fun. Yeah, and like another uh, tradition that you do with like during orientation, your first weekend, we all watch Dirty Dancing, mm -hmm. which is just, you know, the most memorable <laughs> nights of orientation. Yeah, lots um, of like heckling at this point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the good and the bad. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, since babies starting Mount Holyoke in the fall, and so are all of we, so, so, so are all of us, um, <laughs> uh, we all like watch Dirty Dancing and it's just so fun. And um, and you're like sitting next to random people that you've never met before because there's so many new faces, maybe like the one or two friends that you've made that past couple of days, like bring their other friends and you all just um, really, you meet so many new people. You're all experiencing this, you know, huge Mount Holyoke tradition that it's just so fun. So silly, as yeah. you said. And like, also, like you said, like it's your first or second night on campus. So like yeah. right away, you're participating in those traditions, um, getting to meet people, and then you'll do it again, uh, commencement weekend. So. Something funny that happened to me my this past semester where I was abroad, um, my friends and I, it was dirty dancing night um, here, and everybody was watching it at orientation. I was feeling kind of sad that I wasn't here to see everybody's first dirty dancing night. Um, and so I was talking to my friends about it and they're like, let's do it here. So we gathered all my friends and I told them about Mount Holyoke and we watched Dirty Dancing and it was just a fun way to kind of bring our community outside. Yeah. yeah. And I just, I feel like I've met most of my like really close friends through traditions, like stepping out of my comfort zone and going to these places and acting crazy yeah. and just being within community. I have really met other people from all over the world and it's great.